Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha, and here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it is for Thursday, 26th day of June. Here we go. What if you want to mop a floor on Shabbos with a good old-fashioned rag mop or a rag or a sponge or something like that? The general answer to that question is no. You're not allowed to mop floors on Shabbos because that could involve the biblical work of sechita. That's squeezing out liquid from the rag or the mop, and you're not allowed at all to do that on Shabbos. So that part of today's halacha is simple. No mopping on Shabbos. However, what if somebody wants to just squeegee across his hard floor? You people who live in Israel hearing this, you know what that is. It's very commonly done there. No carpets and hard floors and there's sand. So Friday afternoon, a lot of people have the custom to just pour some water across the floor, squeegee it with a nylon or plastic squeegee right into the drain or right out the door or right onto the mirpesa at the porch. So that kind of activity involves no sachita at all. No squeezing is happening because that plastic nylon blade that's on the bottom of the squeegee is totally okay and there's no sechita, but stick with me here because we're still going to have you not do it. But technically, technically, there is no sechita involved, so it should be totally permitted to squeegee your floor on Shabbos. However, the Mishnah Baruch does say clearly that we accept upon ourselves to not wash floors on Shabbos even in the permissible way. So the, the short answer to that is squeegeeing across your floor, although it's technically not schita, we try to not do that either, says the Mishnah Brura. And therefore the general answer is no mopping of floors and no squeegeeing of floors um, either. However, as our last piece of the halacha for today, the, uh, there are poskim who say that when you're in a bad situation, like for example, the floor is in need of squeegeeing because it's slippery and dangerous and someone on Shabbos might fall and hurt themselves and you just want to, there is no schit involved and we do try to never squeegee floors, but here there would be a good reason to do it so that the danger is avoided that no one slip on this slippery floor. Or there's a foul, horrible smell across the floor from something that fell there and this could happen in a commercial kitchen, you know, where you just want to pour water across that really bad floor, squeegee it towards the drain. So there, there are poskim that are saying that you're allowed to do that, that only, on Shabbos because of the danger or the foul smell. But normal, ordinary squeegeeing is not allowed, and of course, normal, ordinary mopping is not allowed on Shabbos. Hope that's clear. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.